The following program contains graphic violence, including sequences of torture and sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. We are continuing with the second half of the game featuring Abby uh, and the good, the good News crew, as I've taken to calling them. I haven't taken to calling them that, I don't know why I said that. We're looking for Isaac. Where is he? He's inside. Go on in. I want to. I want to meet this boy. I am still. Hey, look who it is. What's up, fellas? You got time for a game? I am okay. Kent. Oh, for Isaac. got time for a game? Can I play? Can I play? I want to play. Um. So I've actually I've been thinking about. I've been thinking a lot recently about like this chunk of the game and I'm re okay hold on let me read this Isaac took three days but I finally got something out of number 74 if what he's saying is true sounds like the southern shore might be our best bet I marked up a map and left it in your suite we should send scouts to verify as soon as possible I still feel like he might be holding out give me a few more days with him sergeant foster so here's an interesting thing that I'm feeling right now I'm not nearly as pessimistic on this as I was Jesus as I was last time um, Always hated this the interesting thing that I feel like the game is kind of doing right now, I'm going to pause so I don't miss any dialogue, is the game basically feels like, or it almost feels like the game and Druckmann are purposefully putting themselves at a disadvantage. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, I feel as if Druckmann kind of sat down and wrote the first half of the story and then purposefully s flipped the script for a story about different kinds of revenge and if that's the case if i'm correct in that then we're looking at some extremely meaty storytelling that's about to come out of this and i'm very very much looking forward to it so just wanted to get that off my chest before we continued anyway what were you saying about the smell of this place i wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys jesus yeah but how do you even know these guys are with their crew because here's the thing, if they say like, oh, we're not with them, those aren't my guys, wouldn't you immediately not believe them? Wouldn't the, wouldn't you assume like, oh, they're lying, um, why would they be telling the truth? Oh god, what am I about to see? I'm about to see Isaac like completely eviscerating some dude, like using him like a punching bag. Oh god, I don't want to watch this. Sir. Abby and Manny are here. Oh, he's naked. That's a lot of body hair he's got. Don't let him fall asleep. Yes, sir. Oh, hold on. I'm going to wait to pause until the naked man's off screen. Theory. And and Cameron, this is mainly directed at you, because I know you're watching these. I don't want you to say I'm correct or anything like that, obviously. I just want you to put, like, I don't know, type the word peach when you've seen this or heard this. My theory is they mentioned that Abby has basically run off. My theory is... Something happens with Isaac Abby doesn't agree with that gets Abby kicked out and potentially even hunted by the rest of, of the WLF, which then causes her and um, Ellie to team up to take Isaac down. That's a theory. Don't know if it's correct or not. Have nothing supporting that. That's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> anyway. Sorry about that. That was so not serious at all. I mean, the theory was serious, but the obviously the game theory that wasn't meant to be taken seriously. I heard you two ran into some trouble. No losses on our side. Just some minor injuries. Yeah, minor injuries, like our Hands girl getting stabbed in the back, quite literally. You aren't gonna let Abby say anything. Never seen the base this packed. Give it another day. Oh boy. 
Abby, you're not gonna say it. Abby is really like major shifty eyes right now. Oh, why do I feel like it's? Why do I feel like I know this actor? Hold on, I'm gonna. I I have to look this up and see if it's this actor. It has to be all of them. Sir, we try attacking their island. Not like this. Not with everyone. Big storm a few days out. We're gonna use it to mask our approach. It is him. Lead the first wave. It's Jeffrey Wright from uh, well, a lot of good stuff. My brain was immediately going with the Goldfinch, but my God, he's been in so much more than that. Uh, Casino Royale, um, Hunger Games, Boardwalk Empire. He's in the new Batman. I knew I recognized that sultry voice. Nora. He's the best part of uh, the Goldfinch. Secrets Which is a between shit movie. Crew, huh? Is someone okay? As far as I know. Then, then why are Eating an apple. He shot Danny. What the? Apparently to protect some scar. It's bullshit. Excuse me. That's not Owen. You got it wrong. You're gonna go after he Owen, aren't you? He used his last breath to lie to me. Sir. People hear that story. Owen's dead. Anyone who finds him, they'll gun him down for sport. And I suggest you all stop gossiping about it. Let me go after I him. do, like... I'll walk him back in. We'll get to the no. bottom. You said yourself the storm's a few No. Days. I like Isaac's thought. I got one shot at this. And this is bigger than any of us. He's Definitely like, bigger than Owen. he's like, hey, I don't like what he did, but I'm not gonna sell the man out. I'm gonna keep quiet on it, give him his own chance for survival out there. If he turns up, then fine. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But he's not. You're not gonna waste people we'll on him. Get to the bottom of it. I mean, it makes it's entirely makes sense. I need you, Abby. Yeah. I don't like the way you grabbed her. I get it. Good. Look over the plans and go through your roster. I don't like that. Have some food. We'll talk later. I'm not a fan of the energy we've created in the studio today. I'm... I am... See, like, this is the, the power of Naughty Dog. I'm, like, really... Conflicted right now. What? No, Abby, don't. I'll be back by morning. You just gotta cover me. Till Jesus time. Christ, Abby, you're just as reckless as Ellie. Not before the assault, he heard him. He needs me. You're possibly worse. Oh, out there. How the hell are you going to find him? He, oh, there's the Ferris know. wheel. Mm-hmm. So. That definitely makes me think that we're not going to spend much time playing solely as Abby because that's a that looks like a lot shorter of a journey than um what than the one that Ellie had to go on All right Why don't you come on over and enjoy this view with me then It's great It's the best Oh Come on Oh, and don't be a dick. Made it all the way up here, just so you could wimp out on the last two steps. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't like yeah, heights. So what? To get up here, so. Mm. Don't make fun of her, dude. Right, a lot of people don't like happen. heights, myself included. You're gonna get your ass over here. Sit on the edge, or you can go down here on the kid seat. Who? Hey. And look at this view with me. Kid seat is fine. Who's who's gonna yeah, complain about the kid's seat? Really? Not even just for one night. No. Oh, one night. Oh, what you what you got planned there, Robert. Owen? What you got planned, my boy? It's getting late. 
Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a fan of the energy we're Don't. creating in the studio today, Don't Owen. It's too high. <laughs> oh my god. You know, Owen, you're a dick. I don't think I can live like this anymore, Abby. Owen, I'm serious. I will break up with you. Owen. I always loved you. Don't! Owen! What an asshole. <sighs> Jump down into the water after him. You can do it. It's okay. Oh, do I get to? Oh, I do. Naughty Dog, you do a real bad job of letting me know when I have control and when I don't. Because your games look too damn good. The visual quality of your games is too damn high. I'm down here, you asshole. Well, you didn't hear the splash? And I missed it? Oh, you drowned. dick. Oh, and... You came to my rescue? No. <laughs> I came to make sure you drowned. <laughs> uh, I found something pretty awesome. What? What'd you find? An aquarium? You're gonna have to follow me to see it. See, I'm also curious, like, the motion capture suits, did they actually, like, go in the water well, for this? Or did they just kind of, like, semi-float? you see this. Owen. What are they gonna do? Kick out a bunch of displaced fireflies who have nowhere else to go? I mean, he's got a point. He's got an absolute top-tier point. Come see this thing. Take a deep breath. Fine, I'll take a deep breath. Every time I hop back into Last of Us, I have to remember, like, okay, this control does this, this one does this. Um... The listen and the sprint buttons are constantly, like, reversed in my head. Whoa. What is this place? It's an aquarium. I don't know. Do you not know what an aquarium is? Going? Fuck yeah. <laughs> kiss her. Like, I know you're dating already, but kiss her. Would have been the most romantic moment ever. No, oh, whoops. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going, Abby. Let's not get trapped down here where there's no breathing room. This place is crazy. I think it's like one of those uh, zoos, but for fish. You mean an aquarium? Check this water pup out. Water I pup. Oh! It's covered in spots. I love him. They're brown. Those are sea lions. There's no. two different things. No, you don't know. I know what I saw with my eyes. Yeah, there's multiple different kinds. So get out of each other's asses about it. What are we? Are you following me? All right, I guess you're following me. Let's go exploring. Let's go look at this aquarium. Didn't get a good chance to look at it before when I was, you know, hunting Abby to the death. Hey, give me a hand with this. Yep. Come on, we got it. We got it, kiddos. Got it. it is very bizarre to me. One aspect that I don't really hadn't really thought about, but I now kind of realize and is really bizarre. Clearly, this is some sort of theater. But for uh, fish, I think I am older <laughs> Are you a rooster? than uh, Ellie and Abby. And I don't even mean in the flashbacks. I'm pretty sure I'm older than them in current game time. And that makes me feel super old. Are y'all gonna like stay here in this boat and like make out? Oh, shit, that actually looks super nice. Like someone's been living here, almost. There's some kids' clothes. Bet a family came through. Look at these drawings. Kids' drawings? Oh, 
Oh, that's t kind of terrifying. They're, oh my god, look at their eyes and the teeth. That's the worst, actually. Man, fuck this kid. Like, look at this. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe oh my god, the that's the worst. Yeah, or it got killed by scars. Such an optimist. Yeah, you better believe she is. You guys are definitely gonna make out, aren't you? Like, you're in this place, it's nice and dry. Is the boat... S oh, it is slightly, like, wobbling. I was gonna say... The one thing that I haven't noticed is, like, boats that you're in don't wobble. But this one does. I am impressed, Naughty Dog. I'm very, very impressed. So do I leave, or... What's the dealio? Alright. Enough of this boat. Okay. I guess we're not going to get up to any shenanigans. Sure. There's more to see? Let's go see the rest of, of the fish zoo. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get a move on, boyos. Anything up here? Hi. It's channel 10. Tonight at 10, the world is ending again, and we know why and when, so you better watch. There's a deep cut for you. Mad props to anybody who gets that reference. Yeah, oh, 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 and slightly taller than Abby. Was not expecting that. I wonder why they're not together. Like, probably assignment, but also, like, why would they not be, like, together together? Didn't seem like they were at the beginning. Oh, shit. Look at you. Yeah, she's girl strong. Have you seen her arms? Yeah, right. I would not even remotely call her a liar. a quick look around and then... We head right back. What, are we about to find some zombos? Because we're ducking through here. Whoa, whale boys. Oh, you don't see that every day. No, you don't. You don't at all. Big old whaleos. See, this is, this is. <laughs> hey, Owen, no spots. Look at that. Well, the one I saw wasn't bronze either. So. I mean, you got a point there. I don't want to give him too much shit for it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what. That gives us class. It's this is what um, the floor. Naughty Dog yeah, knocks so out of the people. park is just this feeling yeah, of. My dad would love this place. I I feel that these people truly exist. Yeah. They give them personalities. That are that just feel really authentic to me. Um. And I don't know, like. You're claiming this place? Really, dude? What does that mean? Oh, you sure? You gonna allow her to visit? Oh, okay. You're a dick. Not a great start. Yeah, you are kind of a dick. You're gonna keep people out. Max's place? Hold on. There's more ki- Oh, no. I don't want to find a dead child. Please, Naughty Dog, don't show me a dead child. Locked. Okay, that's good. That makes me feel a little better. Um, but yeah, I was thinking a lot recently about my goatee for 2020. And I'm... I still think it is this game, even with the story changes. Again, haven't finished it, so I can't really make a fair claim to that. But... Yeah, so people definitely like, like a, uh, lived oh, here. Right. Thanks for dragging me in the god. Oh god, what does your note say? I'm very terrified to read this. Still got some flesh on the bones, so not Shit. too old. Oh fuck. 
Dad, I'm taking Max away from here. He can't spend his life locked inside this rotting building. All he'll do is take on your weaknesses. When the soldiers killed Mom, you just stood there like a coward. What kind of example is that? You should have gotten angry. You should have made them hurt worse than they hurt her. I want Max to see what it looks like when people are willing to stand up for what they want. When they're willing to make something of their life. The world is harsh. It's up to us to change it. Only the weak may I carry... Only when weak may I carry my true strength. Maybe we'll come back someday. If we do, I hope you're not still sitting in your stupid fucking chair. Well, you're still sitting in your chair. Jeez. Hmm. Well, on the bright side, I found these keys. What is wrong with you? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need them. I just don't understand got a point. Joins the scars. Look at all these the photos. Because they're an insane cult. That's why. I mean, people... In the QZs, people would refer to the Fireflies as terrorists. Fanatics. I mean, absolutely. We were like, naive. We weren't fanatical. We blew up checkpoints and assassinated soldiers. But... It's not the same. I'm just saying... Don't say shit like that at the stadium, okay? Okay, alright. I mean, I think Owen seems like a smart enough dude to not say stuff like that. Uh, surrounded by a bunch of X Fireflies or WLF members. Um, but I mean, he's a thousand percent got a point, and that's again, like, that's a point of the story. What's this? When is this? Oh, fuck. Kids, if you find this, I want you to know I don't blame you. Those Seraphites are selling a good line. I understand why you thought you'd be better off with them. There's food and water in the boat. Take it and sail away from this place. I know I got too controlling. I just wanted so much for you two to be safe. I hope you see that. I couldn't find antibiotics. I want you both to know that I love you. Ricky, keep watching out for Max. You owe him that. Dad. Fuck. That's the worst. Max's place. What's in Max's place? Wanna try those keys? Oh, yeah. Sure, let's go pillage the room of a dead kid. This one? This feels slightly morbid, but uh, so does oh, most no. of the game. Got it. Damn. The painting this must have taken forever. I mean, not forever, because... Oh. Oh, it's all... The open ocean experience... Soap and lotion? Oh no, open ocean. I do enjoy finding Dory. Are we head down? You can't be serious. Oh, and you can't be serious. Oh, I just That's hadn't triggered the little cutscene. Come on. Owen. Last thing. Sure, oh. let's go further into the belly of the beast. Last That'll be the last thing. Just, uh, don't look down. Except you're down. What, uh, what other direction am I supposed to look? You're good. All the way to the floor, Abby. Also, I do gotta say... Look at these. The whole, like... I'd love to meet this kid. Abby versus Ellie thing that the Game Awards did... Maybe you have. Jesus. Um, sure not. was really uncomfortable. Like, they had that Twitter or Reddit or some social media poll hate. that was like, um, who's your Abby versus Ellie, the ultimate showdown or the ultimate rivalry or something like that. And it was like, yeah. I saw that and I thought, whoa, that's not really at all the point. You guys are butchering it a lot. Jesus Christ. But, you know, what are you going to do? Big, big, uh, Big gaming publications will they will do what they do. You see that? It's got spots. I told you they were spotted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe there's different kinds. Are you gonna kiss now? Is now the time when you're gonna kiss? Kiss. Smoochy smoochy. There we go. That's cute. Oh, oh, oh. Q 
kids. Abby. Let me slow down. No. Abby, what's... Is it this? It's this, isn't it? You are Ab disgusted by it. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Why would, you, why would she be disgusted? Oh, what do you mean? I know all the leads have dried up. What are you... What are you talking about? But Joel's still out there, you know? I know. Uh, okay. What can I do? Well, I don't know why you're thinking about this right now, we but okay. Do. Like, I'm sort of... Con <laughs> I mean, hey, fair? She's... He killed her father, so not like it's something that she's right. easily going to be able to forget. What about you? But, I mean, still. Yeah, keep, out with the seals I was going to say, gang keep the sea lions company. <sighs> Were you going to get upset? I'm sorry. You're gonna get upset she didn't want to fuck? You already. Don't be sorry. I mean, fair, but don't sulk then when she didn't want to fuck because she was thinking about her dead dad. That's a sentence I never thought I would say. Holy shit. So you're gonna leave at night. You're gonna hope that you make your way all across that without dying. What if Owen's somewhere else? He's there. Hanging out with the seals. What was that the last place you saw him? Wouldn't that be ironic? Can I talk you out of this? No. We don't know what happened. I gotta find him. I mean, if you really killed Danny. Fuck Danny. <laughs> okay, fuck Danny. I don't even know who Danny is. I don't remember who Danny is. If I do know who Danny is. me sneak out like this. Oh, supplies. We're in the chunk of the game where I get supplies again, so. I get spotted for sure. I'll rough it. Aquarium's due west of here. Keep following the sun, right? I'm coming with you. I've done this before. No, you're not, dude. Many, please. All right. You know best. Yeah, listen to her, Manny. Don't want two people to die. Just one. Manny and Danny, I just realized. Naughty Dog, you got a certain naming convention that you like? Abby and Ellie, Danny and Manny. Joel and... I mean, well, I guess he's the exception of the rule, but, you know, every rule's gotta have its exception. Game, I hope you're not thinking I'm gonna just skirt over all the potential goodies that are in here. Come on, Naughty Dog, you know your player's better than that. Wow, I'm kind of shocked I could even get in here. Did you know someone's squatting here? Ooh, hello. Oh. No. Oh. My. God. Hey! That's private. Oh my god. This is your place? How many sex stens do you have in this QZ? Oh my god, Manny. I... I have, I don't know what to say. I can't, I was like, let me read a little bit of this before I start reading this out loud because I don't know what it's going to make me say, but uh, holy shit. Hey. Jesus, Thanks. that was a fun little interaction. Yeah, and other stuff, you know. You're a good friend. You know, I can't handle all this emotion. Oh yeah, all this emotion from her. So rough. All right. What have I got? Okay, I got the hunting pistol. I got that. All right. Another reason that I don't think I'm going to be out here for very long as Abby by herself is because, like, still don't have a huge number of different weapon options and supplies and things like that. Not to say it couldn't give me more, but I think I started with more just as Ellie, so. All right. Wish me luck. When you find him, don't hit him too hard. That's yeah, just, just punch him in the face and then your stick your tongue in his throat. See ya. Because Lord knows that's what you're going to want to do. 
Alrighty, we've reached a new chapter. Just Abby on her own. Abby in the wilderness. Uh, like Bear Grylls. We call her Bear Abs. Get it? Because because of... Uh, or, uh, I don't know. She has a nature show. We'll call it the Right to Bear Abs. Great. Because of abs on your chest. I know that that's one of the reasons they have to give her that nickname. That's why people call her that, right? There's no way that that's an accident. Ooh, hello. Hold on. What have we here? I'm assuming the smell is... Ooh, hello. Urban Warrior Close Quarters Combat. New upgrades. Hell yeah. I can craft... Oh, I can craft shivs? Hell yeah. Let me craft shivs. Why would that be... Yeah, why would you not let me craft shivs? I want to craft some shivs. What do you have, dude? My friends, forgive me, I failed you. I was trying to escape a squad of wolves and stumbled upon a group of demons. They caught me off guard. By our prophet's grace, I will die before the corruption sets in and I lose control of my senses. Now more than ever, I see the righteousness of our path and the corruption of the wolves. I will die happy knowing I played a small part in restoring the purity of our species and our world. Should you find me, set me alight and say her words over my remains, Harry. Or Henry. So now that I think about it... You can rot here. Um, I don't think that it's going to be Isaac that... uh. Abby and Ellie team up for. I think it's gonna be this prophet chick who I keep seeing. Um, yeah. Or no, not her. But you know what I mean. Like, the prophet chick I keep seeing graffitied everywhere. I think it's gonna be her. Um, alright, nothing of use in here. So we are gonna climb out. Conveniently over the sign that says exit. No combat yet. Knock on wood. I go through here. Nope. I go back around this way. Uh, nope. Um, hey, some scissors or some broken glass. One of the two. It'll be very helpful regardless. Um, hello. Here's what I'm talking about. Hello, Mata. Hello, Flada. Here I am at Camp Granada. I swear... Every single time I try to convince people, like, hey, nice. I'm I'm your age, I'm like 23, I bust out a reference that makes people look at me and be like, are you sure you're not 45? Okay, I thought I heard someone's groans. It's possible, yeah. I'll run into them after I shimmy through here, because I haven't loaded into the area with groaning zomboids in it yet. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go, Abby, go. Abby, Abby, go. I don't want to die here. Oh, Jesus. How fast do I have to move through there? Good lord, game. I'm moving. Okay, you gotta be, like, right up on it real fast. I'm pressing square. I'm going as fast as I can. There we go. Headshot, baby. One more for good measure. Uh, or two more, or three more. However many more. Hey, you know what? It's fine. Oh, to a great start. oh, absolutely. Of course. Always. It's a Naughty Dog game. Why wouldn't there be chaos? Alrighty. We got any friends around the corner? Oh, no, but we do got some of these, which I am always a fan of. All right. Any more stuff around here? No. Oh, hold on. Let me just... Got to get a run and start, and then... ho up. There are those basic, like, storytelling things that you do to make a character easily relatable that I think Neil Druckmann knows how to do really well, and he's employed them here with Abby, just like he did with Ellie in the first game. Um, after killing an enemy with a strike, strikes are high damage. Um, hmm. I think I want the listen movement speed more. Um, 
but Druckmann I think is a really excellent writer because he knows those basic techniques to make you endeared to a character and he's used those on Abby just the same way he did on Ellie and Joel in the first game uh, yeah that's the chick I was talking about the like weird prophet girl that guide you right off a cliff um these freaks are in our backyard and I think that that's why, despite my feelings on her, because of the Ellie portion of the story so far, I still feel some sort of endearment towards Abby. I don't want her to fail, just as much as I don't want Ellie to fail. It's just that my reasoning behind wanting Ellie to succeed is, like, slightly more than wanting, uh... Abby to succeed just because it's already been pre-established like Abby's going to bring the hurt on some characters that I love. It's like playing I mean it would be like playing um I don't know any other zombie game but this Yeah, there's... I figured. Got him. How many else? Oh, come here. Okay, there we go, baby. Come on. There we go. Reload it. Reload. Reload the powerful gun. Okay, good. Well, that was... That was good. Took those guys out quick. Um, but it would be like playing a game like, I mean, like any game. It would be like playing any game like as the hero, the character you're used to, the one you already know, and then playing as the villain, learning what they were up to, what happened. And I think there's a lot of games where that would be really successful and would work really well. I think the reason that it probably rubbed a lot of people the wrong way in terms of this game, and again, I'm assuming because I don't know... All I know is that people were upset at this game. I don't know why. I don't know if the reasoning behind it was the, like, jump to playing as, um, Abby was the whole Joel thing. I don't know because I haven't looked. But I think the reason that it might have rubbed a lot of people the wrong way is because The Last of Us in particular, Naughty Dog games in general have this very deliberate sense of character development that really strongly and smartly endears you to these characters but the last of us in particular not only meshes that character development or not only has that trademark character development but it also meshes it with a part very particular sense of brutality so it's not just that these are characters who you love it's these are characters who you love that you've seen go through incredible hardships so to see those same kind of hardships in the game and then play as the person who, for the most part, doled those hardships out, is a difficult thing to see and experience. I mean, take a look at my reaction when I first started playing as Abby, compared to how I kind of feel now. And I think, that feels like an X-Men reference, the X is there, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like just because of the amount of reading I do, on video games and just mediums of art in general I want to say that I might have a little bit more thought or foresight into these kinds of decisions compared to your average game playing Joe who is just like I love Ellie I love Joel I want to go on an adventure with them and is not expecting the kind of brutality and like moral quandaries that this game has presented despite the fact that the first game still presented its fair share of moral quandaries um, and just difficult decisions to make. I think it's interesting. Um, whoopsie. Anybody around here? Okay, I don't see anybody. I don't know. I think I'm, at this point I'm just rambling. I'm talking out my ass. But hopefully whatever I mean or meant you you picked up on in all that ramblingness that I just said um, or you got some semblance of what I meant although 
I, I can't tell. I would never be able to know. Could never tell. The hell is that noise? Oh, never mind. Just some keys here. Nope. Uh, or a lock, not keys. I don't know why I said keys. That was weird. Maybe just because my brain saw the lock, and I remember getting that bundle of keys, and I was j just had keys on the brain. Yes, I'll take these random pills that are sitting here. By all means, thank you very much. So, the place with the note that gives me the passcode is definitely in the place that's going to be the hardest to get to. Because why would you just put it out in the open um, instead of making it a decent like chore to get to? That doesn't seem very Naughty Dog-like to me. Um, to the point where, like, uh, I, the last thing I'll say about the whole, like, uh-oh, the last thing I'll say about, like, my point on people's thoughts on the game and, like, it making them happy or, like, it asking difficult things of them or all that. Um, the last thing I'll say on that note is the fact that Yahtzee from Zero Punctuation, which is a gr uh, a reviewer that I very much admire, um, a reviewer that I very much admire for numerous reasons, placed The Last of Us as part two as his worst game of 2020. And I have not watched his video review because when it came out, I had not played the game yet. So I didn't want to spoil myself. But a lot of the notes that he made in the like 2020 video, like the best of, worst of, etc., sounded like a lot of, I didn't like this game because of what it was. As opposed to, I'm going to judge this game based on what it is and then judge it. <laughs> It, it's like the people who complain about, like, I went into this action movie and all it was was action. It's like, well, y yeah, I guess you could complain about that, but you also n know what you're getting yourself into. Um, huh. Bo, I'm sorry I wasn't here when you got back. The place must look like a bomb went off. Someone must have tipped Fedra off to our little rations operation, but it was uh, Zhao, that snake. I managed to hide some of our stuff, but I worry our business partners aren't going to be happy with their shipment gone. I put some of our supplies, some of those supplies in the safe. The combination is 68, 96, 89. Come join me at our other hideout. I think it's time to think about an exit strategy. Be safe, May. 689, 689. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things where you can complain as much as you want about the product, but you also have to know like what you're getting yourself into. Is that a precursor egg from Jack and Daxter? Oh my god, that's too good. Naughty dog, you sly bastards. Oh shit. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else around? Doesn't look like it. God, that scared the shit out of me. I'm so glad I still had this melee weapon. I completely forgot about it. Um, ooh, hello, give me shotgun. Yeah, if I hadn't explored, wouldn't have found the shotgun probably until much later. This will help. Just like in Resident Evil 2. I could have gotten the shotgun at a different point, or gotten a better shotgun, um, had I been paying closer attention, but I just wasn't paying closer attention. Give me all the shotgun bullets, thank you. Definitely gonna upgrade the shotgun when I get out of here. Or when I next get to a, like... Boom, baby. I will saw y'all in half. No hesitation. Yeah, you bet your ass. I, we did. I did. Whoever did. Um. 
I don't know. I've, I've spent enough co time complaining about people complaining about this game. And I say that fully well knowing I will probably complain more about people who complained about this game at a later date. Um, or at another episode. That's just going to happen because that's just who I am. I care a lot about the game. I care a lot about the characters. Um, so that's just going to end up happening. So I apologize about that. 6, 8, and then 9, 6... And then eight nine. Yeah, because it's the same. Yeah, it's the two, both numbers repeating. Yeah. Give me all this. Yeah. And now that we've got our little scavenge supplies and things of that nature, let me. Let's see here. Reload all of our stuff. All reloaded. Yeah. Now seems like the perfect time. Well, hold on. Let me upgrade my stuff. Um, 71. Let's do... Ooh, hold on. I can do momentum and hold that. Yeah, let's do that and that. Yeah. All right, and let's build another bomb and two more shivs. And we'll save the rest of that for later. So, this seems like a perfect opportunity to end the episode. I mean, where's where's the other brick? Here we go. Always good to have these. So, we're making our way downtown, walking past, moving fast, um, and looking for uh, for our boy. So, on that note, thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you want to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful, and this has been The Last of Us Part 2. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Adios!